Okay, so let's assume that we have a circle of radius r, where we have the value of the radius with uncertainty, say r is equal to 2 plus or minus 0 0.03 meters, and from this we will find the area of the circle with uncertainty. So first, how should we think of the uncertainty of the radius? Well, the uncertainty in a measurement is a small change in the measurement, a small change in the variable. Since r is the variable, this is delta r, a small change in the variable r. And as r here is our independent variable, delta r will be the same as dr. Okay, so let's now find the area of the circle with uncertainty. Well, first we'll find the value of the area using the value of the radius. So what is the connection between the radius of a circle and the area of the circle? The connection, of course, is that a is pi r squared. If we now evaluate at 2, so this will give us 2 squared is 4, so 4 pi. And if you multiply 4 times pi, you will obtain approximately 12.566 meters. So that was the easy part, right? We now have the area of the circle to be approximately 12.566 meters squared. And how do we now find the uncertainty of the area? Well, the uncertainty in the area will be a small change in the area, namely delta A. And now, of course, you can approximate the change in the area by the differential in the area dA. And of course, the differential of a function, where now here A is a function of R, is given by the slope of the function with respect to its independent variable, so the derivative of A with respect to R, of course, times the change in the independent variable, the change in R. And it's clear that dR and dR cancel, and we get, of course, dA. So now, let's differentiate A with respect to R. So pi is a constant multiple. This will give us, by the power rule, 2 pi R times dR. And now we have the differential of the area for any value of R and any change in R. So we can now evaluate. The value of r is 2, so we have 2 times 2, 4 times pi, so 4 pi, times the differential in r, the change in r, that is, of course, the uncertainty, 0 0.03. And if you multiply this out, you will obtain approximately 0 0.377 meters squared. And now we can write down our conclusion. So the area of the circle with uncertainty is given by 12.566 plus or minus 0 0.377 meters squared. And that's it.